Hannah's interview with Indian ex-Muslim activist Arif Hussein uh, Therovaf. I just wanted to highlight the fact that last week I talked to notable South Indian ex-Muslim Arif, who I really admire. I've been dying to talk with him for a very long time, and it finally happened. Um, so he interviewed me on his channel, uh, which if you scroll down, oh, you're going to share it in live chat right now. Thank you. Um, the name of his channel is just his name, uh, Arif Hussein uh, Theruvath. Um, and I had so much fun. Um, I really hope I get to talk to Arif again. Um, I'm really fascinated by the explosion of Islamic apostasy happening in South India. Um, and this conversation I had with him was more structured with him just asking me about myself. Um, but at the end, I had an opportunity to talk a little bit about um, digging into his ideas of things. So I really want to talk to him again. I want to talk to him about India. I want to talk to him about secularism. I want to talk to him about the uniform civil code, which we talked about a little bit at the end, but like dig into these things more. Um, I want to build more relationships and more networks with ex-Muslims in India or atheists in India, people who want to improve the secularism in India, make it something that's more consistent, more coherent, um, really one law for all. Um, and yeah, I was just really excited by this opportunity. I had a lot of fun and um, I feel lucky that I got the opportunity to talk to him. So check it out. Yes, link is in the description as well, right under this video. So check that out as well. I think you should scroll down a little bit and you will, it's the 10th news item. So you should be able to get it. Uh, so I was saying, well done, Susanna. Yeah, well done. It was oh, really interesting. You. If you guys want to know Susanna a little bit more, you know, and uh, about the way she thinks, her views and stuff, and a little bit a lot more about her personal life and her background and stuff, this is a good show to watch. Uh, also, yeah. here's the name of the channel, Arif Hussein. Uh, Therav Therav How do you say this? Therav I think it's Theruvath. 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 That's a nice name. Yeah. All right. Yeah, guys, go nice. check it out. Do you have any? Good. What What was your favorite part of watching this? Because I know you were in it the live chat. Ago. This was live. Um, I like the part where you were so political and not at all aggressive about the part where he was like. Um, the woman part, right? Like, what do you yeah. think? You know, because he asked a question that I think, to me, if I was answering, I, I, unfortunately, I would be, like, maybe coming across as a little bit more, what might be perceived as hostile, which is not a, not good, maybe not good. But I was so impressed in how you responded to that because you basically said what I thought, but in such in a way that it just came up as came across as not even a disagreement i don't know how you did it but it was like that was so masterful so it's, it was it was the part where what was it like about like what do you think um as a woman activist what do you think we should do to what is your message to other women or what should we do to let more women speak and i just have an issue with that as a whole because i think like you're Susanna is much more, you know, she's so many things when it comes to her activism, you know, being he, her, she being a woman is the least significant part of her. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I think mean, I said that. Yeah. So, I mean, and I, and I just think like you, you don't always need to, unless there's, unless that person is specifically being targeted or oppressed for being a woman, you don't need to assume people are victims just because they're women, unless that's what their story says so, right? Um, and I think like, you just responded to that, saying that message, but much better than I would ever, and I was just so impressed how, with how you ended <laughs> Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I had a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. I think, um, at first I was kind of like, I didn't appreciate just being like put in this box of like, oh, you're a woman activist. But then when I was talking to him, I understood the context of it so much more. Um, mm -hmm. Where 
literally just the social contexts are so different. Like I literally don't feel like I've experienced much sexism or oppression for being a woman. So it would be kind of foolish and irresponsible for me to pretend otherwise and me playing like a female victim card. Cause that's just literally what I don't feel is my experience. But um, if I say that too casually, people are going to take that and to dismiss people who legitimately are facing right, right. a lot of discrimination. See, see that's why it. that's why you handle it a little better than I did, right? Because I wouldn't have been careful to notice that other side. You, you know what I mean? Like you're thinking about the other one, other women who are victims for being a woman, and you wanted to make sure that you answered it in a way to not dismiss their experience, right? Um, and you being careful of that was like very impressive. I just like I just... <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too silly. I'm sorry, guys. Anyways, yeah, it was kind of funny. I, I I hadn't thought about it before. I was thinking it actually made me think. I was like, I actually don't think about being a woman. Yeah. Like, very much at all. Well, unless anymore. Know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the only time that I was fixated on that was when I thought I was transgender for like a year. For a year. Yeah. yeah right. Which is a whole different story. <laughs> we should going to be a lot of people who are going, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You are actually very sensitive about people going through mm, transitions prematurely because of your experience, right? Yeah, yeah. You were like, you were like, imagine how screwed up your life would have been if you had submitted to that. So. So that's why you're kind of sensitive with that. Yeah. We should talk about that one day because that's very interesting. I kind of talked should... about it when you first interviewed me on Secular Jihadists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should have talked about it too with Jimmy because he would have sympathized with that. Jimmy Bangash? We've had yeah, some personal yeah. conversations about it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Triash is saying, by confused? No, I am. I am not confused about that at all bisexual no, no, supremacy she's... for the win okay oh no Susanna is Susanna is very bi and she's very very clear about that <laughs> she, she's ag Susanna is aggressively bisexual okay <laughs> <laughs> all right hide your woman and men <laughs> okay let's end the show before i get in trouble um, okay. you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free too sexy to show most of it here on youtube we draw muhammad hindu goddesses sexy hijabi art jesus mother mary japanese god greek gods and much much more click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art